Ήταν αργά το βράδυ. Κουμπισμένο στο πλάι ενό αυτοκινήτου, είχα πιάσει κουβέντα με τα υπολείμματα μια μπουκάλα, χωρί να με νοιάζει για την ανοιξιάτικη θύελα που ερχόταν από τα βόρεια και τη βροχή που σάρωνε την περιοχή. Και αυτό γιατί στην κατάσταση που ήμουν δεν μπορούσα να πάθω και τίποτα χειρότερο. Ήμουν από εκείνου του τύπου χωρί λεφτά, ρούχα και φίλου. Κυνηγάνε χαμένε υποθέσει με γυναικεία ονόματα και βλέπονται σε ιστορίε που δεν βγάζουν πουθενά. Η δικιά μου λεγόταν Λάουρα και τη συνάντησα πριν από πολλά χρόνια. Ο κόσμο μου ήταν ένα άρρωστο και θλιβερό κόσμο, και κάπου χρειαζόμουν να την πάθω κι εγώ από ένα τέτοιο κορίτσι. Πάνε τέσσερα χρόνια που την έχασα, και όποτε περνάει δίπλα μου κάποια με άρωμα για σεμί, ο νους μου πάει αμέσω αυτή και ψάχνω πάλι για βλεξίματα. Έτσι έφτασα μέχρι εδώ. Μόνο που το εδώ είναι λιγάκι περίεργο. Κι αυτό γιατί προς το βάθος του κήπου και γύρω από ένα λάκκο δύο γυναίκες κάνουν πράγματα που κάποτε θα με προκαλούσαν για ενδιαφέρον. Αλλά με μια σφαίρα κραφωμένη στον δρόμο δεν μπορείς να κάνεις και πολλά πράγματα. Έπειτα μου αρέσουν τα εσωτερικά των αυτοκινήτων. Ειδικά τέτοιε βραδιές σε κάνουν να τα εκτιμήσει ιδιαίτερα. Χώρια που η βροχή πάνω στη λαμαρίνα σε να μορίζει ήσυχα και σε στέλνει να συναντήσει τη λάβρα για ακόμη μια βραδιά. Όλα αυτά λοιπόν και ακόμη η υποψία πω το κορίτσι που ψάχνω έχει πεθάνει από χρόνια και με ρωτευμένο με ένα πτώμα με έκανα να, να βάλω την είσοδό μου σε αυτό το σπίτι. Και αποφασίσω να μπω μέσα στο αυτοκίνητο για να υποθυμίσω με την ησυχία μου. in the garden, the burial of our chauffeur.
Night by the fire, please. We just finished with our chauffeur, and now I'll talk about him, father, and the old days. It was more difficult than I had imagined. Mother had made everything sound easy, but the chauffeur was incredibly strong. He had to be stabbed five times. In the end, he ran screaming with a knife in his belly and splattered blood all over our house. When we buried him, he was still alive. The first time that Mommy and I killed was three years ago. She was a young girl employed as secretary. It happened one weekend Father was away hunting. They called her Laura. With her, everything was easy. Strange girl. Like she was hiding from someone or something. Now that I think of Laura, I really loved her. Mommy and I often play the game of the young secretary, which always begins with Laura setting foot in our house for the very first time. I make my appearance dressed as a young secretary and holding a small suitcase. I walk along the dark corridor and enter the living room. I'm anxious. My knees are trembling. Will they employ me? I'm afraid of something, and maybe this is the perfect place to hide. The lady receives me sitting in the living room. What's your name, my child? Allow me, my lady, to keep secret my name. Ma pauvre enfant, then give me some name to call you. Laura, if you don't mind. Laura. Comme c'est étrange. Laura? Hmm? Were you always a good girl? My lady, if I, if I hadn't been a good girl, I would not be so poor, nor a secretary. Honesty is the first virtue I demand in this house. L'honnêteté, vous comprenez? Come closer. How long has it been since you confessed? Since I what? Come closer. Oh. No! Quel âge as-tu? I mean, how old are you, Laura? Twenty in a few days. Oh, fine. Continue, my child. Are you still a virgin? Oh, indeed, I give you my word. You must be a virgin to be accepted here at Dwight Rivierge. And for that, I need some proof. Je veux des preuves. <laughs> des preuves. Oh. It's up to you to prove. Uh. 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 Sur un grand chemin, je vois courir un peu il lapin. <laughs> je veux l'attraper de mes mains, mais... <laughs> Il est trop loin, trop loin. But now, Laura, be so good as to... Oh, you're squeezing the shit out of my hand. To quote the servant's two basic rules. Um, first rule, the servant may not injure... What are you doing down there? Oh. May not injure his master, or through an action allow his master to come to harm. Very good. Second rule, the servant must protect his own existence as long as such protection does not interfere with the first rule. Oh, Laura. And now, no. let me seal your mouth. I want you to. <laughs> I don't 
hurt me, Mummy. Don't be afraid, my darling. Last time you hurt me a lot. Ah, ah. days before father died we didn't have such problems then he would kill the servants and mother and I only had to plant decorative and aromatic flowers on the graves P P pelagonium pansies and and for penna father was very proud of our garden he used to say that corpses were the best fertilizer for the soil and our gardenias had become as tall as trees. Since father died, our garden has been totally neglected. I, re I remember the day that father took my virginity. I was very young then, only 11 years old. How cruel, father, how cruel. Heaven will punish us, hell, hell. I screamed at him while he forced me on my knees and ra rammed, rammed it in from behind. My little darling. Heaven is the last thing that concerns us in this world, Father said to me. I wish you were here now. Don't be sad. Tomorrow we'll plant the garden like in the old days. And now, after every crisis, après chaque crise, she locks herself in the attic. The poor child believes her father is still alive. Elle croit que son père vit toujours. I often, I often come here to, sm to smoke. My, my mommy, my mommy doesn't allow me to smoke. Mustn't ever smoke. No. You know, my mom, my mommy has a little thing be between her legs. And you, you touch it, it goes up and up and up. It, it gets big. Everybody, everybody, even my mommy, thinks my father died. It's not true. Someday he'll be back and commit such horrible deeds that the world will never forget them. <gasps> my daddy. My daddy has a thing here too. And he pees and it goes like this. Όταν συνήλθα, ήμουν ξαπλωμένο μπρούμητα στο πίσω κάθισμα ενό αυτοκινήτου. Δεν ξέρω πόσε ώρε ήμουν εδώ μέσα. Τα κοκαλά μου πονούσαν και είχα τα χάλια μου. Η Λάουρα δεν είχε έρθει. Και ένα τηλέφωνο χτύπησε δυνατά με στο μυαλό μου, προσπαθώντα να με ξυπνήσει. Ήμουν ένα τέλειο ηλίθιο. Γιατί ήξερα πω το τηλέφωνο δεν θα χτυπούσε απόψε. Κανένα δεν θα με έπαιρνε ξανά. 
Τώρα έπρεπε να περιμένω να βγει πρώτα ο ήλιο για να δώσει τη διάλογο άλλο κόσμο βρισκόμουν. Όλα δείχνουν πω το κορίτσι που ψάχνω πέρασε από εδώ. Τρία χρόνια τώρα μαζεύω στοιχεία. Κάποτε ήμουν πολύ καλό σε αυτή τη δουλειά. Τουλάχιστον έτσι έλεγαν όλοι. Μετά μπλέχτηκα άσχημα και στο τέλο με βαρέθηκαν και μου έδωσαν πόδια από τη δουλειά. Να σκεφτεί κανεί ότι ήταν μια υπόθεση ρουτίνα. Μέσα σε λίγε μέρε θα την ξεχάσει κι αυτή όπω τόσε και τόσε άλλε υποθέσει, είπα στον εαυτό μου. Αλλά τα πράγματα δεν γίνονται πάντα έτσι όπω τα υπολογίζει. Ερχόμουν από το παρελθόν και ξέρα πω είμαι σχεδόν νεκρό. Έπρεπε όμω να μπω μέσα σε αυτό το σπίτι μόνο και μόνο για να μάθω και ποιον θα πουλούσα το τομάρι μου ακριβά και αυτή τη φορά. Απλούσα λοιπόν το χέρι μου για να σηκώσω το τηλέφωνο και λιποθύνησα πάλι. Night in the house. Mommy caught a mommy caught a bad cold, and I'm cupping her. She must have caught it on the rainy night we buried our chauffeur. I'm I'm all right now. My crisis passed. Only only have a premonition that something bad's going to happen to us. Poor mommy. Deep down, she's very sad we killed our chauffeur, and she a tear is rolling down. Now we're all alone again. I want to cry, but that'll only make things worse. We planned on having a quiet evening, when all of a sudden we were startled by a sharp ring at the door. Who could it be at this time of night, Mother asked me. Who could it be at this time of night? I thought it might be a new chauff chauffeur from the tra personnel office. But again, at this hour, it seemed unlikely. Mommy thought the same because she asked me immediately where father's gun was. Where's the gun? I stupid. In the table next to you. What are you waiting for? Get it and see if it's loaded. It's loaded. The, the door? Find out who it is before you open it. And don't forget. Nothing happened yesterday. Il ne s'est rien passé hier. Oh shit, mommy. και από κάτι μου θύμιζα και ένα παλιό λούγκερ στο χέρι. <Κι> Μετά ένιωσα να κλειστράω πάνω σε κάτι ζεστό και υγρό. Με <Κι> λίγη τύχη θα μπορούσα να την πάρω από εδώ μέσα. Αλλά η τύχη δεν φτάνει πάντα. Σίγουρα θα υπήρχε κάποιος καλύτερος τρόπος για να μου δείξει πόσο ανεπιθύμητος ήμουν σε αυτό το σπίτι. Από την πλευρά μου νομίζω ότι και εγώ έπρεπε να της δείξω την καλή μου διάθεση και να κερδίσω λίγο χρόνο. Γι' αυτό και άρχισα να ασχολούμαι με το κορδόνι του παπουτσιού μου. Φαίνεται πως αυτό της έκανα καλή εντύπωση γιατί προσπάθησε να με βοηθήσει. Σκέφτηκα να της μιλήσω, αλλά δεν νομίζω ότι είχε διάθεση να με ακούσει. Έπειτα ποιος είπε ότι ήμουν σε κατάσταση να βγάλω έστω και μια λέξη. Τελικά κάτι μου λέει πως ήρθα στο κατάλληλο μέρος. Έπειτα το κορίτσι αυτό άξιζε ένα χτύπημα με λούγκερ στο κεφάλι. Και κάτι παραπάνω.
Tu as bien fermé la porte. Hein? Who's that? Oh, man. Who's that? I found him outside our door. What's wrong? What's wrong with him? Uh, I, I don't know. That's how I found him. In any case, the way he's dressed, he doesn't look like a chauffeur. Did he say anything? I told you. I found him lying on our doorstep. Well, what do we do now? We must call the police. Stay here and watch him. New game? <laughs> Not feeling very... Didn't like...
mother to like the new man. Oops, a new game, huh? Dead? It's dead. It's okay now? Okay. <laughs> Mother? <laughs> Mother is the arm. First rule of the servant. The servant may not, in, may not injure his master, right? Or, excuse me. Or, with the police. In this storm, nothing works. <sighs> oh, behave now. What do, we, what do we do with him? One idea is throw him in the garden. <laughs> Another idea would be to Did he say anything? Did you say anything? Did you find anything on him? I didn't search him. Let's do it. Seems to be a cut on his shoulder. What do we do now? Nothing. Search him. Search him away. What's that? I don't know. What happened to Laura? Laura? Who killed Laura? Do you think he's from the police? Don't forget. No one died in this house. We'll keep him here. So we can find out who told him to start digging into Laura's story. Here. He has a diagram of the house. What house? Our house. <laughs> and a recipe for Singapore. Singapore sling? Qu'est-ce que c'est? A cocktail they used to drink in the old days. Singapore sling. My sleep is restless. I have the prisoner on my mind. He smelled of blood, and sweat, and fear. He excited me.
man. Are you all right? This is my house, and my, mo my mother's sleeping in the other room. You're in pain. I found you lying on our doorstep. Mommy and I tied you up because you said some strange things about some Laura, and we were afraid. Look. Look here. You want. Want? Shall I bring you something to eat? What? Who sent you here? You'll be w wondering what I'm doing here at this time of night. I came to warn you. Tomorrow, Mommy will question you. And if you don't answer nicely, she'll torture you. You know, my, mo my Mommy won't let me smoke. I mustn't ever smoke. Oh, do you like it? Me too. You'd, you'd better tell her you're the new chauffeur who got lost in the storm. What? It's this Laura. Laura. This Laura you're looking for is only an illusion. Laura is a face in the misty light. Footsteps that you hear down the hall. Oh. The laugh that floats on a summer night. And you can, you you can, can never quite recall. And you see, you see Laura and the train that is passing through. Those eyes, how familiar they seem. She gave her very first kiss to you. <laughs> That was Laura. <coughs> that was Laura. But she's only a dream. <coughs> so forget her, Singapore slay. Forget her. Or said petite pute, I'm talking about that bitch daughter of mine. She thinks I have no idea of what happened. Well, I heard it all, and tomorrow we'll have it out. planting flowers on a chauffeur's grave. Ce sont des pensées, n'est-ce pas? What happened to our prisoner? Is he up yet? How should I know? I thought since you woke earlier, you went by his room. No, I, I dressed, drank my tea, and came straight here. Well, when you're finished, come and find me so we can visit him together. And I advise you stop planting right now because we might have to reopen the grave. A stupid bitch. Honestly, someday I'll kill her and I won't have anybody over my head. If my father was alive, together we'd have killed the bitch.
I'm the owner of this house. Last night in the storm, you rang our doorbell and because of your condition, we decided to offer you our hospitality. Very kind of us. Now we want to know which train did Laura take? How long did she stay at the lake house? Who broke the radio? And why didn't she hear the news of her death? These are my questions and I think they're yours as well. So, who's Laura? And why are you looking for her here? And anyway, who are you? I have a feeling you're not very fond of policemen. So you better start talking, because sooner or later everyone talks. But by that time, they are already half, half dead. dead. My daughter told me you are the new chauffeur we've been expecting. Be good enough to quote the servants two basic rules. Fuck you, mommy. He knows them. First rule this. He's already told them to me. First rule, the, the servant may not injure his master, right? Or through an action, allow his master to come to harm and so forth. Good. You see, he knows them. Huh? Oh. killed Laura. Who killed Laura? Oh. He's jumping. He's
I'm out. Case. 
every worst case. He's filled the house with his cum. It runs all the way down from the attic to the hall. That, that means, that means he's not afraid anymore. Il n'a plus peur. While I'm sleeping at night, with the help of, of that bitch daughter of mine, Seth Salop, he moves around freely in the house, leaving his scales everywhere. Τότε ήταν μια υπόθεση ρουτίνας για μένα και πίστευα πως μέσα σε μερικές μέρες θα την είχα ξεχάσει όπως τόσες και τόσες άλλες υποθέσεις. Αργότερα όλοι κατάλαβαν πως ήμουν έτοιμος να φορτώσω το φόνο της άγνωστης κοπέλας οποιονδήποτε. Φτάνει να κλείτω να τη λάβρω από τις φασαρίες. Ήξερα πως κάποιος είχε σκηνοθετήσει το θάνατό της. Ποιο όμως και γιατί. Και αν αυτή ήταν αθώα τότε γιατί έφυγε. Ήξερα πια ότι έψαχνα για ένα όνειρο. Θα ήθελα να βλέπα τώρα τα μούτρα αυτού του μαντρόσκυλου που είχα για αφεντικό και όλων των άλλων των τύπων με τα πόδια πάνω στα γραφεία όταν θα τους έλεγα πως επιτέλους τη βρήκα πάλι και ότι τόσα χρόνια δεν κυνηγούσα άδικα ένα όνειρο. Λίγη τύχη θα μπορούσα να την πάρω από εδώ μέσα. Αλλά η τύχη δεν φτάνει πάντα. You don't need to love a corpse. I'm alive now. I read your notebook and understood that you loved me before you ever... Before you ever met me. The time you saw my portrait and thought I was dead. But it seems some other girl died in my place. I left because I was tired. I wanted to be alone to think things over. Don't feel you were deserted. I went to the lake house for three days. Newspapers aren't delivered there and the radio was broken. That's why I didn't hear about my death. But now we'll finally be together. You have to help me, Singapore Sling, because that woman out there won't let me smoke. No. I mean, she wants to turn you over to the police, and I don't want to lose you again. I know. The only thing you can see well are colors. I also know that if I free you, you want me to untie you, don't you? <laughs> and you're thirsty. You want water. The only thing you have on your mind is water. You don't even think about me. I'm going to try to get out of here and find help. I'll come back for you. Hang on. Hang on for me. Whenever you hear this song, remember me. A Singapore sling. <laughs> what are you doing here? Where are you going? I want to leave. I have to let my friends know I'm alive. Give me the keys. Where have you been? I was in the country, at the lake house. Give me the keys. A woman was murdered in this house. Everyone thought it was you. I don't know anything. When did this happen? Three years ago, on a Saturday night. They also found two glasses. Guess what was in them? Singapore sling. Exactly. 
who was killed instead of me. You ask too many questions. Go inside. Oh. Singapore Sling, you have to help me. Did you hear what she said? Three nine two. She'll turn us both over to the police if we don't talk by tomorrow. And I didn't kill anyone. Huh? Wa water? If that's all you have on your mind? I have to let my friends know I'm still alive. Did my daughter pass by? Or maybe Laura? Look at me. What are you trying to do? Force a confession out of me. Who are you covering up for? No one. You're trying to protect someone. Remember, we buried Laura together. Your father was there, too. Leave my father out of this. I didn't bury anyone. Why are you doing this in front of him? You ruin everything. You'd better tell the truth. What difference does it make what I say? You've made up your mind I'm guilty. You know I didn't kill anyone. Then why did you tell me the radio at the lake house was broken? Because do I have to have those lights in my face? Why are you doing this? You ruin everything. I said I'll make him talk. Don't you realize you're involved in a murder? And don't expect help from anyone. That one is already dead. But I promised I'll make him talk by tomorrow night. All right. You have just over 24 hours before you fail. Singapore Sling, you have to help me. She'll kill us both. Très important. Some very important things happened late last night. Quelque chose de très important. Some very important things happened late last night. Quelque chose de très important. Some very important things happened late last night. The police came looking for someone called Singapore Sling. Bien sûr, nous avons dit que nous ne savions rien. We said we didn't know anything. They believe us and left. Ah, and something else. Our prisoner talked. So let's see how that happened. Ah, mais je vois qu'on va beaucoup mieux aujourd'hui. On s'est promené, on s'est préparé pour une promenade. Oh mon Dieu, est-ce qu'il est là? Ah, oh, thanks God. You're all right. I thought you had died. The police just left. They are looking all over for you, and sooner or later, they'll get you. Come on, try to get up. Allez. Ah. Oh, mon Dieu, qu'est-ce qu'il est lourd. Ah, mais je me souviens plus. C'est vrai que c'est plus un enfant. Now let's do some exercises, huh? Quelques petits exercices. So we can see in what shape you're in. Look at me. Yes. Now, listen. Listen carefully. A, E, I, O, U. Do you understand? Oh, come on. Look. A, E, I, O, U. Hmm? Let's try to do it together now. Come on. A, E, I, O, U. Do it by yourself, Ali. Let's say. A, E, I, O, U. Oh, yes, that's fine. 
Oh, yes, that's nice. Oh, drawn out. Oh. <laughs> ah? Eh? E? Oh, you. Ah? Eh? E? Oh, you. Ah? They are torturing someone down in the cells. It seems to be a woman. A woman, isn't it? Yes. It is a woman. They are torturing her. Look, I have a little game for you. It's a nice game. J'ai de petits oiseaux, de jolis moineaux. Hop, la s'envole. Hop, l'autre s'envole. Hop, la revient. Et l'autre. Revient. Did you like it? You are thirsty. You're very thirsty. You want water. I want water. I want water. I want water. Who killed Laura with water? Water. What? Are you doing here with water, 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 water? And now it's time to see who this woman is being tortured in the next cell. <laughs> yes. You know who it is. Of course you know. You see how she is. And we haven't even started yet. It's me, Singapore slang. Laura, you remember? Do what this woman says so you can get out of here. We'll meet again at the lake house. Water. Yes. Water at the lake house. Pull yourself together, Singapore sling. You remember her? Whip her. Hit me. That's the only way we can stop her. Tell her what she wants to know. She says, hit me, Singapore sling. They tortured me for two days, but I said nothing. I need you. Let the others know I'm alive. Hit me. Singapore sling. Hit me. Please hit me. If you don't talk, I'll kill her right now. I blow her belly open. Would you like that? Don't listen to her. Yes, that's much better. You wouldn't like that, would you? But to prove I'm not bluffing, I'm gonna use this right now. 
and make a little hole through her cheeks so she can never whistle for you again. Singapore sling. So, that's how he finally talked, and I stopped torturing Laura. Of course, he didn't say much. A few years ago, a girl was murdered in Laura's apartment. I told you I'd make him talk by tonight. And since she was wearing Laura's clothes, everyone thought it was Laura. He took on the case and fell in love with her as soon as he saw her picture. After some time, Laura reappeared and stayed with him for a while. Then she fell in love with someone else and went away for good. Meanwhile, he'd become an alcoholic and lost his job. But he never stopped looking for Laura. As the song says, you see Laura on that train that is passing through. Those eyes, how familiar they seem. She gave her very first kiss to you. That was Laura, but she's only a dream. So forget her. Forget her, Singapore slave. vegetables every day. You're not doing well at all. Don't you eat? Mm, nuggets. And pickle. More vegetables. Good for you. And there we go. Chemin, courait d'un petit lapin. Celui-ci l'a vu. Celui-ci l'a pris. Celui-ci l'a mis cuire. Celui-ci l'a tout mangé. Le pauvre petit qui disait you, you can hear her screams coming from the attic. He's back again, torturing her. Now she's out in the garden playing with him. With his tails. She seems happy enough. She she once took Laura from me and now wants to do the same with Singapore sling. Maybe she's making plans for the future, but others here are making their own plans.
Δεν έβλεπα να βασανίζεται. Για την ακρίβεια εγώ τη βασάνιζα. Και έπρεπε να το κάνω να φαίνεται όσο γίνεται πιο αληθινό. Δεν ξέρω το γιατί. Κι ούτε είναι η δουλειά μου να ρωτάω. Η δουλειά μου είναι να φύγω το γρηγορότερο από εδώ μέσα, παίρνοντας και τη Λάουρα μαζί μου. Ως τότε πρέπει να κάνω ό,τι μου λένε και να παίζω τον ηλίθιο. Πράγμα που στην κατάσταση που είμαι δεν χρειάζεται και ιδιαίτερη προσπάθεια. Βράδια τα περνάω τραβουδώντας από μέσα μου. Μήπως και ανοίξω καμιά χαραμάδα στο μυαλό μου. Όχι γίνει σαν τσιμέντο. Καμιά φορά πάλι ξυπνάω από το ηλίθιο γέλιο μου. Γελάω σαν ηλίθιος. Και σκέφτομαι στα σοβαρά μήπως κάποιος πρέπει να καλέσει την αστυνομία εδώ μέσα. Υπάρχει παντού καπνός και ομίχλη. Ένα σωρό τύπη με τα πόδια πάνω στα γραφεία που με κοιτάνε και διασκεδάζουν αφάνταστα. Ίσως έχουν δίκιο τα παιδιά. Ίσως είχαν και τότε δίκιο. Το σίγουρο είναι ότι κάτι δεν πάει καλά μαζί μου. Oh, true. 
Come on, wake up. Ali, have you toi? I don't know. I don't we know. are in trouble. I was, I was at the lake house and I, I don't know. I want a single Come on. sling. Wake up. I We're in so trouble. Good. Someone stole the knife, the big knife from the attic. Father's knife. Father? We are in trouble and I'm very upset. Someone stole the knife, the big knife from the attic. Father's knife? Exactly. It's lost. And you think he took it? Singapore sling. Who else could have taken it? Well, I don't know. You? Me? What? You could have taken it. <laughs> Me? What a joke. And why? Why not you? Where is he? I don't know. Be quiet. For some time now, we've been hearing strange noises from the garden. Let's check. And what do you think we saw? Singapore Sling was there digging a pit in our garden. But why, why are you digging that pit? That's what we asked him. And what was his reply? Nothing. He said nothing. He just looked at us and continued digging. He could be digging my grave. Could also be mine. Could even be his. That's the most likely. He might think we are going to kill him. That's what I think, too. If he's the one that stole Father's knife, then he owns the grave. Tomorrow I'll talk to him. Better if I do. All right. We'll both talk to him. The, the gun? I always carry the gun. What will happen to her? To whom? Poor Laura. Laura? I've got to talk to you. A knife's missing from the house. A big knife with a bone handle? Mother says you took it. I have to talk to you. Laura told me a knife is missing. She said you took it. She's lying. She took it. Don't worry. I'm on your side. She'll make us kill, kill each other. Don't worry. I have the gun. That's why she told you to deep in the pit, so we both fit. She's planning to leave you, like the first time. Don't listen to her, Singapore Sloan. Here's what we'll do. Go on digging. And when the right time comes, we'll kill her. Scales. Look what I found this morning. Scales. And let me tell you something you don't know. She's not Laura. It's not true. Don't listen to her. Someone doesn't want me to talk to the police. The line's been cut. La ligne coupée.
The phone's dead. I know that, and the car's fucked up. I didn't know that. What are we waiting for? Someone wants to isolate us in this house. And kill us. And we know very well who it is. It could be you. Or perhaps you. So, it's for tonight. Oui, c'est nuit. Tonight, someone will be murdered in this house. Where did he go? To dig the pit. Avant qu'on le tue, on le torture un peu. Hmm? Before we kill him, shall we torture him a bit? While he's still alive, we'll open his belly and fill him with stones. Tiens-toi bien maintenant. Shut up, bitch. Thank you. 
Night by the fireplace. We just finished with Mother, and now I'll talk about her, Father, and the old days. It was more difficult than I had imagined. Mother had made everything sound easy, but we ripped her belly open so clumsily that the house overflowed with all kinds of indescribable shit. I can smoke now. Of course, we stuffed her belly with stones. <laughs> but, it, but it was impossible to sew her up. So we threw her in the pit. We didn't find the missing knife. I mean, Father's big knife, we didn't find it anywhere. In the old days, before Father died, we didn't have such problems. Then he would kill the servants, and Mother and I only had to plant decorative and aromatic flowers on the graves. Pelag Pelargonium, pansies, and verbena. Mommy and I killed for the first time three years ago. She was a young secretary, and it happened one week, and Father was away hunting. They called her Laura. Mommy and I often play the game of the young secretary, which always begins with Laura setting foot in our house for the very first time. I make my appearance dressed as a young secretary and holding a small suitcase. I walk along the dark corridor and enter the living room. 
I'm anxious. My knees are trembling. Will they employ me? I'm afraid of something, and maybe this is the perfect place to hide. The lady receives me sitting in the living room. I move forward and kneel before her. When she asks my name, I answer, Laura. Laura, if you don't mind. Now comes the moment to lift her skirts. No, that's father's knife. Oh, don't hurt me. Don't. This isn't how we play a game with mommy. You, you help me kill her. Not you. Let me go. Hey. See, you said we'd be, to we said we'd be together. Stay away. Like that. Mother's been there. Can you? Mother? It's no.
Singapore sling. That's it for me, isn't it? Let me hang on to you. Your hand. You see? You see how right I was when I said you were in love with a corpse? Dead became two. I'm so scared, Singapore sling. Everything is slipping. Inside me, I'm falling. Don't leave me now, Singapore sling. Ξέρα ότι θα πέθανε και δεν τη είπα ψέματα. Άλλωστε ήταν αρκετά έξυπνη για να το καταλάβει. Μόνο που δεν ήταν η Λάουρα. Αν και αυτό τώρα δεν έχει καμιά σημασία. Τελικά δεν ήταν μια υπόθεση ρουτίνα όπω πίστευα τότε. Τελικά και ο διευθυντή και τα παιδιά με τα πόδια πάνω στα γραφεία όταν γελάγαν μαζί μου ήταν γιατί βλέπαν μακριά. Όχι όμω τόσο μακριά όσο εκεί που πρόκειται να πάω εγώ τώρα. Κλειστρά μέσα σου και είναι σαν να πέφτει με αλεξίπτωτο. Μετά κρατά την αναπνοή σου και πηγαίνει χωρί να τη στέκεσαι. Και θυμάσαι όλου αυτού που έκαναν το ίδιο πριν από σένα. Όλου αυτού που πέταξαν στο κενό κάτω από ένα λευκό αλεξίπτωτο. Ένα μάτσο κορόιδα και χαμένου, χωρί μέλλον, δουλειά και ηλικία, που κυνηγάνε ακόμα ένα όνειρο με γυναικείο όνομα. Θα έχω λοιπόν καλή παρέα απόψε. Those eyes, how good. 